Debunk this. The show for the debunkers and the doofers that can't seem to get their little pea brains around the fact that conspiracies have always existed and exist this very day. Um, that we have been tested on and poisoned. That plans are documented to control and contain us as well as kill and enslave us at their will. The show isn't about why they do what they do. It's about the fact that it has and is being done. And this show won't be covering hours worth of evidence. We'll focus on the element of two, keep it simple and to the point. Only using scientific and documental evidence that will be listed to you to reference in the video description over there. Today is Friday, November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas, Texas at 12.30 p.m. in Daly Plaza, John F. Kennedy, the 35th president of the United States was fatally shot while riding with his wife in the presidential motorcade. Now I must admit, this episode has been a task. I mean, and I'm not gonna lie about this. I've been working on this for a while, trying to sift through everything. There's so much informa information out there on both sides of the fence. Um, I've been over the debunkers information as well as the pro-conspiracy information. And, and I have to say that both sides do twist facts and words to push their side. And that's just what happened. Um, I'm not going to go over the controversy about the weapon used. Hauser German-made rifle with the sniper scope sights that was found on the German-built Mauser with the sniper scope that uh, was used to kill President Kennedy, an Italian Mann Lichter Karchanko. I'm not going to get wrapped up in the rhetoric from the debunker sites that falsely state that conspiracy theorists always say that the magic bullet was in pristine condition when in fact they would say almost pristine. No, no, mm -mm. I'm not going to get into any of that. What I am going to get into is the scientific facts that back some admissions that in fact there was a conspiracy and that yes, a shot was fired from the grassy knoll. And this has been proven at a 95 to 96.3% chance, which is basically beyond a shadow of a doubt. The President's Commission on the Assassination of President Kennedy, known unofficially as the Warren Commission, was established on November 29, 1963 um, to investigate the assassination of the United States President John F. Kennedy on November 22nd. Its 888-page final report was presented to Johnson on September 24, 1964, and was made public three days later. It concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in the killing of Kennedy and the wounding of Texas Governor John Connolly. Fifteen years after the Warren Commission issued the report, a congressional committee named the United States House Select Committee on Assassinations reviewed the Warren Commission's report and the underlying FBI report on which the commission heavily relied. The committee criticized the performance of both the Warren Commission and the FBI for failing to investigate whether other people conspired um, with Oswald to murder President Kennedy. The committee report concluded the FBI's investi investigation of whether there had been a conspiracy in President Kennedy's assassination was seriously flawed. The conspiracy aspects of the investigation were characterized by a limited approach and inadequate applications and use of available resources and technology. The committee concluded that Lee Harvey Oswald fired three shots at President John F. Kennedy. The second and third shot had fired struck the president. The third shot he fired killed him. The HSCA agreed with the single bullet theory, aka the magic bullet, but concluded that it occurred at a time during the assassination that differs from what the Warren Commission had theorized. They proposed that four shots had been fired during the assassination. Oswald fired the first, second, and fourth bullets, and that, based on acoustic evidence at the time, there was, highly there was a high probability that an unnamed second assassin fired the third bullet, but missed from President Kennedy's front right from the location concealed behind the grassy knoll picket fence. G. Robert Blakey, attorney for the House Selected Committee on, on Assassinations, told ABC News that the conclusion that a conspiracy existed in the assassination was established by both witness testimony and acoustic evidence. And this is also worth mentioning. Okay, now I'm, I'm, 
and this could go back and forth either way. You could think that this guy's statement's crazy or whatever, but I just thought it, you know, that it was worth mentioning, okay? So you debunkers and dupers out there, don't 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 fly off the handle with this like you got something to do, okay? <laughs> All right. Um it's it's a confession of a guy named James Files in nineteen ninety four. He admits that he was the guy in the grassy knoll. And um, by his statements and stuff and his confession to, to being the, the second shooter and everything, um, it, it does kind of go along with the, with the story of the acoustics and the witnesses and everything. Um, and here's what he said. When I got to the point where I thought it would be the last field of fire, I had zeroed in to the left side of the head. There that I had because if I waited any longer, Mrs. Kennedy would have been in a line of fire and I had been instructed for nothing to happen to her. And at that moment, I figured this was my last chance for a shot. Um, he goes on to say that he's getting ready to shoot. Kennedy gets hit in the back of the head as he's pulling his trigger. He says it's about a thousandth of a second ahead of his shot. And he shot and he said that he hit him from the front uh, front side of the head just as his head goes forward which is this is this is pretty interesting I mean on a, on a side note from all the scientific evidence I mean we're looking at it now I never even thought about that there was you know si almost a simultaneous shot when you look at it his head does go forward for a moment then back <laughs> okay which by the acoustics and, and this guy's confession, I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. After the House Assassinations Committee um, made their report, the National Academy of Science subsequently disputed the evidence of the fourth shot containing uh, the police audio of, of Daily Plaza that day. Um, the panel insisted it was simply random noise, perhaps static, recorded at a minute after the shooting while Kennedy's motorcade was en route to the hospital. Let's move forward in time to 2001 through 2006. The Britain's uh, for Forensic Science Society and Science and Justice says that the NAS panel study was seriously flawed. George Robert Bakey, the former chief counsel for the House Assassinations Committee, said the NAS panel study had always bothered him because it dismissed all four punitive shots as random noise, even though the three sound bursts from the book depository matched up precisely with a film of the assassination and other evidence such as the echo patterns in Daily Plaza. This is an honest, careful scientific examination of everything that we did through the assassination committee with all the appropriate statistical checks. It shows that we made some mistakes too, but minor mistakes. The main thing is when push comes to shove, he increased the degree of confidence that a shot was fired from the grassy knoll. We thought there was a 95% chance that it was a shot from there. After these more modern day tests, scientific studies, um, he puts it at a 96.3%. Either way, it's beyond a reasonable doubt. Over in the description is links to the most up-to-date scientific findings on this topic conducted by world-renowned, reputable, and credible scientists using the most up-to-date technology. You can't get a, around this. No, None of them other studies out there are, are as up-to-date as these. I mean, and it puts it at a 96.3% chance I mean and that is is, is basically without a, a reasonable doubt there that there was shots fired from the grassy you knoll and that means that there was a what what does that mean guys y'all tell me out there say it with me Conspiracy. okay so anyway debunk that anyhow I'm changed the channel this has been debunk this Catch me next time when we tackle another controversial issue. And I'm out.